hey virgos welcome back to house of virgo please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the readings if you're new welcome please keep in mind this is a general reading and some messages may or may not be for you this is a channel for virgo sun moon rising or venus but all signs are welcome also if you would like to become a member of my channel you can get free readings on sundays when i live stream q and a questions and when i do personal mini readings all right so let's get into this virgo um so the first card out, you've got love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. Okay, let's see, Virgo. Looks like love is here. And you also have hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, <clears throat> persistent, and working on something. Okay, working on love at this time in your life, Virgo? Let's see. Um, definitely an energy of somebody feeling it for you and wanting to rebuild or work on a connection here let's see what else you have okay you've got boat progression arriving moving on and closure issues okay so it looks like there is an energy playing out in the month of march or the rest of march going into april where someone here who loves you very much wants to try to work on a relationship rebuild something here um close something out and have a brand new start okay so let's see what the romance angels are here for you virgo romance angels messages for virgo okay giving a relationship a chance working on the partnership and a past life relationship all right virgo you've known this person before so it looks like there's a past life connection or a relationship with a past person and it feels like this person wants to have a new start or try to rebuild or work on a relationship okay try to fix something let's see what tarot has to say okay yeah i feel like someone's going to come in here and offer an opportunity um or give you a gift to I don't know if it's apologies um it's a it's a good faith offer i feel like it's something tangible to show that they're serious about working on something here with you okay it could be a proposal or an offer uh like a gift um let me see here they're making some kind of an investment but a tangible investment all right let's see um, we will find out who this person is okay so the sun is out here um could be a leo for some of you um this person is coming in with good intentions good vibes they're they're very it's a very positive energy um it feels like this person, it feels like they want to, or your person, feels like they want to um, come out into the open and express their joy for you, their happiness for you. Um, a playful energy as well. Okay. Um, they could be offering uh, to pay for a trip somewhere or offer, f uh, make an invite. To go on some kind of a trip here okay yeah making something right here whatever the situation is between you and a past person uh, something beginning to come to light okay um, truth coming out of some deception or lies uh, we also have libra and pisces could be connecting with let me see what else is going on here show me the the sun card clarify the sun card oh yeah coming out of stress and anxiety this person is um really trying to maintain a positive outlook in that you will receive an offer or be willing or they are hopeful that you are willing to try to work on 
the relationship, I feel like this person is struggling mentally. Um, there's a lot of stress and anxiety, conflict, mental conflict. And it feels to me like they know that in order to relieve this mental stress and anxiety, this burden in the mind, um, perhaps there was an argument or something might have happened. I feel like this person is coming in to make some kind of offer to repair and make something right and do the right thing. Uh, they may be apologizing first to you for either something that they said or that they were thinking. Let me see here. So for justice, wow. Yeah, the Ace of Cups, so, hmm. Okay, two aces, Virgo, in this reading. It feels like definitely forgiveness, healing. Um, it's not just a tangible offer, but it comes, well, it is a tangible offer, but it comes with a blessing. It comes with an overflowing of emotion. I feel like this person really does love you, even unconditionally, and I do feel like they hid their feelings from you about how they felt for you. Um, but with that justice card, yeah, I'm getting an energy here of um, they're they're going to come out with how they feel about you, like true love, unconditional love, and that Ace of Cups is like a healing energy. Okay, so here we have Taurus. Um, this person thinks that you are amazing, Virgo. Just beautiful, handsome, nurturing, caring. This person really wants to try to have this new beginning. They feel you are a blessing in their life. And, it, you know, all the cards are, are lovely, but it's come, all of this with the Nine of Swords, it's like it, coming to the truth. Uh, maybe they were trying to have their own way in a relationship with you and not appreciating or not being grateful for what you brought to them the blessings that you brought to them. And it feels like this person is, you know, the sun is shining. It's it's being exposed in their mind, in their heart, of how um, you sit in this empress energy, you know, masculine or feminine. Either way, it, it feels like what the empress, this person wants to create and rebuild and have a, you know, a good, um, abundant type of um, either marriage or uh, love relationship here with you, you know, um, maybe even have a child with you. For some of you, um, they might have stressed about that, um, or they see you as either, a, you know, a good, not either, they see you as a good parent, if you are a parent as well. It, it's like, It, it's a weird energy because, um, and I don't mean to sound like I'm sighing, it's just, I f it's like a feeling of grief that I feel this person has. They've gone past the Eight of Swords where um, their restriction and the way that they kept themselves from you is actually affecting them. And they're, they're needing relief because I feel like this person cannot stand it any longer to be without you. If you are in separation, it, you must be because this is giving this relationship a chance and rebuilding, okay? And um, giving closure in order to have a new beginning. So, you know, I don't, f it, you know, I feel like this, this person, as they, s they lay in bed at night, uh, they're like it's like they have nightmares. They they just they. It's crazy. I feel like when I look at these swords here, I see how um, they've got one right here through the back of the chest, in through the heart, in through the neck, and the restriction to speak in through the head, which is one, two, the three of swords. So very heartbroken that it is affecting every cell in their body every organ every like their entire being and it just ke keeps compounding on top of them i feel like this person if you can see here there's all the different zodiac signs this person has had many relationships with many different people and they feel like always in conflict with other people um in a sense where 
I don't know, they may have induced conflict, or they just have made, had, may have had conflicted relationships, but it feels like all of this is compounding in this person's life, and they're looking back on their life and saying, or asking themselves why they could never have love prophecy fulfilled in their lives, and it's mostly be because of their own personal restrictions and them getting close enough to have a deep, loving um affectionate, vulnerable, transparent relationship with someone and that they would sabotage it. Okay, so now it's happening in full force where it's compounding in their life. And I know you said that word three times, but that's the, the strongest word that keep they're giving me that they keep, now it's affecting their sleep. It's affecting their subconscious. Okay, and this all relates to you. I feel like this person, I don't know if something has happened, um, but it, it feels to me like this person is coming to terms with they've lost the best thing they've ever had. You were so close to them in many ways, and you represented um, a queen or a king to them, not even, even more so. Someone who is just on such a high pedestal, but not in... Um, a negative way it's just great admiration this person has for you and it's like all coming together you know even at night i feel like this person's feelings like i said are being revealed to them you know the the darkness um the unseen is coming up through the subconscious and they're remembering their dreams and you know their intuition right now is telling them that they need to make these voluntary changes to you know try to make something right here with you Okay. Um, they may have issues with their mother as well, or you remind them. Okay. So there's a King of Cups first court card here. So then we have Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. So this person, very deep feelings for you. Um, and whatever their sign is, they are sitting in the water element where their emotions, I mean, the river runs very deep here from this person. And uh, they're maintaining an ability to keep calm, but they, I feel like this person is looking at you, um, not specific, like directly physically, but into you, looking more into you. They see much deeper as far as like who you are as a person, um, not just the aesthetic or the physical. Okay, there's the star, so Aquarius energy. That could be in the cusp of Pisces, Aquarius as well. But either way, this person sits here looking at you like you're a star, like you are the brightest star in uh, in the sky. Well, I don't like, I guess the sky in space. <laughs> you are the brightest star, um, brighter than the sun. And you're like a galaxy <laughs> of all these beautiful little stars. You have so many... Um, the one thing I feel like this person, they look at you and, and they they think that you are, oh, okay, this is a strange uh, message. They're saying um, either they've said this to you or they say this to you or they think this about you is that you make a lot of great points. And I don't know if this is a phrase that this person has used with you or what they think about you. Um you have a lot of great points, or you make a lot of great points, and then they're giving me something to do with like um, the solar system or mapping out. Uh, it feels like this person, I don't know, they've got maybe a bit of um, uh, a scientific NASA kind of mind. <laughs> scientific kind of or a nasa kind of mind i don't know who you're are you dating El elon musk what's going on so yeah i feel like this person um is hoping for renewal they are renewing their spirit um getting into some healing energy bef as well i feel like this person is smart enough to know that they're at the nine of swords right now if they don't do something soon because there's an element here of fear of losing the best thing in their life. It feels like they know that if they don't do something now, after the Nine of Swords comes the Ten, and that's a complete and painful ending. So they are circumventing, is the word, um, this situation before it gets to be an absolute and complete loss 
and before this person completely um, disintegrates into nothing. They know they're on the edge. They are on the edge here, and it's a little bit of um, a desperation plea to you. Either that's a communication they have, or they th are they're thinking that they have to do something now, or else forever hold their peace, and it will be long gone. It will be done forever. So, I mean, for some of you, it may already be long gone and done, um, but they're not thinking about that. They're thinking about um, their energy here where they can't lose you. They just can't. <sighs> okay, let me see what else is going on here. Okay, Virgo, you are sitting here um, in contemplation. So some of you might still have one last uh, one last thing to share with this person, I feel, or uh, you're in contemplation mode is what I will say. You are, um, some of you are waiting for the final to come in, all right, if that makes any sense. Um, some of you are waiting or at least wondering, if not waiting, if this person, your person here is going to... Um, make a final investment. Um, in other words, I feel like, and I know this is not all of you, but someone, one of you here, has your door cracked just a tiny little bit. You might be in a just-in-case. If your door is completely shut um, and there's no way for this person to get back in, well, then so be it. Um, it doesn't mean that they're not going to try, but I'm looking at you here, and I'm talking to somebody here that has one last pentacle left and saying to themselves, well, if they do come in, do I invest whatever I have left, or do I just throw it in the trash, in the trash pile? Okay, so you guys are kind of like... You're in the thought process here. You're, you're contemplating. You're thinking about what maybe you would do if this person reached out again. <laughs> so you've got the lovers. Hold on. <laughs> YouTube doesn't like when I put the nudies up. So you've got the lovers here. So there is an energy of, um, you know, Virgo, I feel like you, um, if you're a female, okay, or, or not, whichever. I feel like you are looking up to spirit and saying whatever will be, will be. I feel like your energy is, you know, you're not really looking at this person in the physical sense. You're looking at the soul. I feel like you are leaving it up to divine guidance. If the relationship is meant to be, it will be for you. If not, you're just seeking um, divine uh, spiritual guidance in regards to this situation because some of you are not sure what to do. So you're waiting for answers from up above, okay? Others of you are keeping your eye on this person and looking to see if they really are uh, coming from a place of divinity, if they truly are seeking soul renewal, or if they are just um, seeking a physical connection here and nothing more. So I do get a sense, Virgo, that no matter what it is, um, you're guided here. Uh, your decision here is being guided by um, a, a spiritual presence as far as, you know, it's not that you are not here on earth with your boundaries and uh, making decisions for yourself. You definitely are. But I feel like you're leaving it as up to uh, God, in some regards, you know, if this is what my higher power wishes for me, then so be it. And if it is not, then that's fine, too. Um, I don't feel like you've got your fingers in the clay trying to mold or direct or control a situation here, Virgo. Okay, so you're in a good place spiritually, or at least you will be going forward. What else do you have? Yeah, see? I mean, you're good, Virgo, and I'm proud of you. You're taking care of self, okay? So it looks to me like you are uh, single. Whether you are in another relationship or not, you are viewing yourself as a first priority, which is good. You've raised your vibration as well. You've reached a place of stability, or you will be. Um, I do see here, 
that you are um, communicating with other people, sending messages or receiving messages as well. But your main priority at this time is self and building your wealth, having your abundance, um, so being self-sufficient, your financial gains and your luxuries are all most top priority right now and it looks like you know love you're accepting that whoever um my higher power whoever your higher power you're seeing to yourself is brings for me is who will be the person for me and i'm not going to go out and scavenge scavenge up <laughs> people um i don't see you having any kind of problem being alone not lonely i don't feel like you're lonely i don't see you having a problem being on your own um working hard um fulfilling your own destiny with your own plans i feel like you are okay uh, or at least will be. I know I say are, meaning present, but also future tense as well. So take that into consideration. If at this time you're not feeling so great, but I feel like Virgo, you're, you're on a good path. Whatever mile marker you're at, at least you're on the path. And that is what's most important. Okay, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon, and you're doing well, okay? You're not at the Ten of Pentacles yet, and that might be a goal for you, so at least you have a goal. But as far as love goes, yeah, Virgo, you have a good mindset. One more card for Virgo, please. One more card for Virgo. Oh, Virgo, wow, yeah. See, this is where you're coming from, this Five of Pentacles. And in my love readings, this is always a card of the struggle love. Um, Virgo, you've been through it. You have been through it. You have you have had your struggles. You have had perhaps some um, poverty to some degree. You've had financial struggle and strain. Perhaps you were unemployed. Perhaps you were in a relationship where um, it was very dependent and or you were very dependent on someone's love maybe there was codependency or you know Virgo it looks like you've done a lot of work on yourself here and the first step I feel like to spiritual healing um, is not just um, looking at where you are in your life um, but also accepting it and believing in something better, um, to have a better life ahead, um, you know, giving your will over to the highest good, the highest power that you have, and uh, surrendering yourself, which, you know, when we open up, so I always like to say, you know, um, like if the tighter that we hold on to something, um, like say if this was a ball of clay, the the harder and the tighter that we hold on to it, it will slip out through our fingers. But when we when we release and we just open up our palm, um, things tend to stay. So the less we tend to control situations, um, especially when it comes to preventing someone from leaving, um, if we don't control that. Um, they wind up staying. So I feel like Virgo for you, this is a feeling of contentment now and um, being okay with what you have and not okay with what you don't have. You've, you, you are grateful for the things you have now and you are humbled because at one time you didn't have those things, okay? But you're grateful that now you, you do. And so you're in a really good place, Virgo, no matter what, okay? Um, and the bottom line is, if you don't have a relationship or your person in your life, you have yourself and you're really um, getting into that relationship with self, which is very beautiful. Okay. Um, and, and exploring more of who you are and what's important to you. Um, okay. So Virgo, it looks to me like how everything's go, <laughs> you're okay. Whatever happens, you're okay. Um, but I will say that I see this other person um, on the verge of a major breakdown here and uh, coming in to try and, you know, uh, make some offer to you because I don't, I feel like someone realizes who you are um, or, you know, it's not that I don't, I don't feel like this person wasn't able to see your worth and your value before, but I think that um, they couldn't see it because they were so blocked by their own misgivings and their own issues 
okay? Um, just because I would say, so, just because somebody can't see your worth and your value doesn't make you worthless. You know, um, we drive past uh, a jewelry store and there's a the most expensive diamond in there. And just because you can't go in and buy it doesn't mean it's going to lose its value. Okay, it doesn't work that way. So, yeah, Virgo, I like your energy. And if you were hoping for some kind of healing in a relationship in the past, you know, I do feel like there is somebody here who's really having um, some kind of epiphany of some sort. And be careful with epiphanies, okay? Um, you could tell epiphanies are real when someone comes in with that bloody stump. Um, just saying things. Um, is one thing, but people who have real true epiphanies in life where they realize that they have to, you know, they have that Scrooge moment after, you know, the ghost of death comes to visit, these people don't just speak on it. They actually act on these changes, okay? They don't just say, um, well, I just, you know, they don't just come or call you on the phone and they don't just say to you, oh, I've had this major epiphany about how important you are to my in, to me in my life and then they don't do anything to show that right that's a difference that's what you want to watch for people who not just speak this not just talk the talk but walk the walk as well they they go together so um is this person you know that ace of pentacles does feel like proof okay um it does feel like it's not just expressing their feelings. It's not just um, having a new beginning in love, but it's also here and to back this up. So I also kind of feel like it's someone who, um, you know, they not only come in and they say they're sorry, but they also um, show with their actions. Okay, which is how you will know. Now, if somebody comes in with all this energy and then they don't back it up with proof to show you, you know, or you don't require that, then that's going to be a bit of a problem and you might just recycle. Uh, like the moon is all about the cycle. So you might just recycle this situation yet again. So it's really up to you, Virgo, at the end of the day, to be able to discern whether someone is just coming in with lip service or if they're coming in with what they're saying and showing are in alignment. Okay, so let's get into the messages of love and see what the message of love is okay so time apart some distance will help bring clarity and i feel like that's what's going on here clarity is coming to a person you know it's not it's a it's like every day i feel like this person with the moon a little bit more is revealed to them and what is revealed comes out into the open very strongly with the moon and the sun you've got the moon the sun and the stars and like i said it's a very galactic kind of thing where this person uh, it feels to me like you're not just a star in the sky you're not just um the moon <laughs> you're not just the sun you're like the entire universe to this person there's a unconditional universal love it's almost it, it's so spiritual it, it just feels it's almost heavenly okay there you go that's what i'm saying awakening someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation little some epiphanies bunch of epiphanies adding up turning into a big old awakening here Okay, let's see. What else? Crazy. Time apart is inducing awakenings and integrity. Does the situation align with your values and morals? Situation or person? Okay. It, it, does it align? Is this person going to come in and uh, be in alignment with you? That's. I do feel like yes, but I feel like once you click off this video and this reading and this does come into fruition or if this when this happens to you at the end of the day i'm not there you have your own brain <laughs> you have your own mind you have your own ability to discern and you have to be the one to say yeah you know what all of this came true but this person unfortunately and this is where tarot can be different it's all about guidance more than it is about prediction Everything came true, but this person didn't show me. And so that's when you have to take, a, you know, bear your cross, take up the cross and say, you know, uh, my conviction is this. 
if you know we're going to be together, we, it can't just be all talk. It has to be more than that. It has to be proof. You have to show me, not just tell me. The same way I will, sh- the same way I show you, and not just tell you. Okay, um, it goes both ways here. Okay, let's see what the hidden truth oracle message. Is. Oh, okay, I couldn't let you get close to me. Yeah, so there was a lot of self sabotaging or sabotaging that this person has done in their relationships, and they are. Um, well, they're suffering for it now because they're alone with their thoughts and their anxieties and their nightmares. Um, you have a healing presence to this person and they know it. So I look for you everywhere. And I said that before that this person looks not just at you, but into you. They can see into you. Um, <sighs> You reflect back to this person. Again, with the moon, it's all about reflection. You reflect back to this person who they are, and they love themselves, so, and they love you. Uh, I don't know. There's something about you, Virgo, that reminds them of themselves. When they look into your eyes, they see themselves. Oh, okay, what else? I feel you, even though we are apart. Okay, yeah. So your energy vibrates with this person, even though there's you're not even in each other's physical presence. Okay. All right, Virgo, this reading. Uh, a couple of moon pie messages here. Okay, negative thinking. So um, what else? Okay, so... Virgo, this could be you, this could be the other person, but someone here is learning a new skill, and that new skill is how to put negative thinking in the past. Okay, um, sometimes we have negative thoughts, and sometimes we express them, and we don't even realize that we're doing it, and someone might call us out on that and say, why do you think so negatively? You know, and the skill here, Virgo, and if this is a message specifically for you, because overthinking negative thoughts can cause depression. Um, negative thinking in general can cause melancholy and depression. If you're someone who's prone to that, Virgo, um, the new skill here is to recognize, um, or if someone calls you out or says something to you about it, to kind of turn your eyeballs backwards and look at yourself and say, yeah, I think that was a negative th thought or word or something. The, the new skill is, okay, I recognize it, and I'm, now I'm going to speak positive thoughts. Speak positive thoughts. Even, Virgo, if you want to analyze a situation, even if you're someone that can see the pitfalls and things, well, pitfalls are going to be there no matter what. So it, it's kind of like, okay, I know, Virgo, you want to avoid the potholes in the road. I get it. But the more potholes, when you're driving down the road, the more you're looking for potholes, the more you're not looking and seeing the beautiful scenery that you're driving through. So, you know what? Uh, avoid them, but don't um, get yourself into this position where you obsess over, I have to I have to be careful, I have to be careful, I have to be careful, another, another pothole, another pothole, or get off the road, <laughs> Virgo. Get off the road and find a smoother road, okay? Um... I don't, I don't know. Maybe you're driving and you're listening to this and, and uh, hitting potholes, or maybe you did earlier in the day. Okay. Part of your non-negative uh, thinking is thinking this person might be non-committal or that they will never be committal. Okay. Well, you know, Virgo, I'll tell you something. Um, anybody can change. People go through their own personal experiences and traumas. Um, people can change their behaviors. Absolutely. People can have awakenings. Um you know, alcoholics get sober, drug addicts get clean, you know, um, people heal from injuries, um, people have life lessons uh, just as much as you do, right, Virgo? So I feel like part of your negative thinking, if this person was noncommittal in the past, um, you might be still thinking that even if they show up. If you want to give the relationship a chance, like the card says in the message here, um, again, go back to what I was saying. You can give it a chance, but you need to have, make sure that they're going to come in um, with more than just lip service, which I feel like they are. Okay, one more card for Virgo. All right, so new passionate start. Everything has to start with passion. Passion is not enduring. That's just the bridge that leads us into... Um, 
a deeper bond, but I do see a new passionate start happening here with someone. Um, and there's definitely a new beginning. It, it is a past person. And, um, you know, for those of you who are hoping for healing and wishing for that in a relationship, great. For others of you who are like, oh, they can come back, but I'm done here. This is, I've just made, listen, for whatever reason, Virgo, if you just made a decision that you don't want to traverse that path again, completely fine and i know some of you are in that energy and that's completely fine okay so chinese signs we have year of the dragon year of the rooster this could be you it could be the person um year of the horse or it might not be any of you it's fine year of the rat year of the dog okay rat again Re uh, rooster again year of the ox uh, year of the yep dog that's twice year of the snake and year of the tiger okay beautiful energy beautiful okay let's see let's get into some names and some random other messages and qualifiers Random names, other messages, qualifiers for Virgo. Okay. All right, Virgo, letter U is here. So let's see. Oh, all right. They just gave me the word up, which is, I don't know, up. Mm -hmm. Oh, you, okay, it's not up. It's there. It's a, it's a university. U of P, U of P. Okay. U of P. So university of P. I don't know what that means. Okay. We got a U again. Okay. And, okay, that's cute. Um, th I have a grammar uh, spirit with me. Um, they're saying, it's not me and you, it's you and I. <laughs> I don't know who that is or who they're talking to. Um, I don't know. We're getting a lesson in grammar here from one of my spirits. It's not me and you. It's not you and me, it's you and I. So what does you and I mean? I don't know if that's a song or somebody writes in as a gram grammar issue. Or <laughs> I don't know. Okay, who cares? Let me see. Um, okay, Chris, Christopher, Christine, Christ. It's a Chris. It could be C-H-R-I-S or K-R-I-S, Christopher, um, it's a Chris. And then I just heard Corpus Christi as well, okay. All right, um, somebody is a jock or an athlete. And there's a road number interstate or whatever it is 110 110 110 okay okay uh they just gave me the word service so i don't know if that's a service station or a s oh, or a server i always hit my camera server or a service station maybe somebody works in a service station or is a server and I see a lot of, um, well, Narcissus flower, okay, Narcissus flowers or daffodils. Sometimes they look similar. Um, I don't know if they're actually the same thing, but somebody might be trying to figure out if that's the flower Narcissus or if that is the a daffodil. You might have these beautiful... 
um, flowers coming up somewhere around where you are at this time or you, you notice them, you see them now or you're noticing them. Okay. Okay, they're giving me the name of a yoga school. They're giving me a couple of names, so I'm, I can't, I'm not, well, not a couple, but I'm trying to hear what they're saying. It's either Rage Yoga, which is so, Rage Yoga, I mean, they're such an oxymoron, <laughs> name of a yoga studio, Rage, because you're not really raging in a yoga studio, you're relaxing. <laughs> rage, or Riz, or um, R it's RZ, or RG, Rage, or um Ra Ra Raven yoga, perhaps it's something to do with yoga for sure, and um, religion. So there's, there's some type of meditation or mantra someone is doing in re regards to um, spiritual practices as well. Maybe Reiki too. They're giving me, and I'm also hearing. Um, Mecca, M, M E C C A, Mecca. Okay, and uh, what else? And somebody says, Yes, sir, or somebody you hear, Yes, sir. Okay, very interesting. All right, let me get some dice for you guys. Okay, so you've got Capricorn, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Leo. And we have 333. Three, three. So if you're seeing 333, three, three, there's also 1111. 11. So if you're seeing that, those different number sequences, this is definitely a message for you. Um, somebody, uh, okay, so the last four digits of a phone number, and you can switch them up. Either way, 5310, those four numbers, and I'm also getting, I don't know if this is a zip code, it's five numbers, 51050, so I don't know if that's actually a place. Also, uh, someone is 55, someone is 33, someone is 38, someone is 35, someone is 50. And um, I'm getting 311 also, 311, and 511, okay. All right, Scorpio, Cancer, twice, Taurus, And then, um, okay, hold on a second, you guys. Okay, August 26th and the 29th, and I'm also picking up August 30th. Someone, um, okay, so the year 1969 and also 19, um, sixty-six. Okay, um, also... Someone's born in 1994. We also have someone who is 49, 62, and you've got four, five sixes in a row here. Six, 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 six. I've never seen that many sixes in one dice roll. And also, um, a, there's something profound. Um, that's going to happen in, they're giving me 600 days, which would be um, a little less than two years. Um, 600 days. A profound life change. Um, your life is going to have a profound shift and change. And they're, they're saying in 600 days. So, uh, there's 365 days in a year, so 
Um, it's not going to be this time next year. It will be like in the beginning of 2025 will be a brand new, um, a major shift start in your life. Very profound, but it's also very positive because the six represents harmony, appreciation, <coughs> self-sacrifice, loyalty, and responsibility. So I feel mostly things, I, I feel like Harmony is going to be achieved, whether it's in a relationship or within self or with with you and um, harmonizing with spirit, or it could even be some type of musical career that will be starting for you. Um, uh, profound, profound. So I know it's a ways away, but uh, I just felt like spirit wanted you to know what that message was. All right, let's get into your charms. and see okay so you have a moon and a star here wow very similar to what i was talking about um and you also have a charm that says I'll tell you in just a second made with love wow very beautiful okay um some of you will be receiving a gift from someone um that they actually handcraft that they make so the this person might be someone who creates things by hand um they create jewelry um they they um they do things with wood or earthen pieces um or they they draw they, they do something crafty or artistic um a gift but it is special to you as highly valuable um it may not be valuable to others but the sentimental value of this gift is very sincere and um you will put very you will put very high sentimental value on it, it will just be special to you okay um and then they were just telling me and i know if they could bring it back because i just lost it um okay it'll come back it comes back um and also, there's a moon here with a star. So, okay. Um, they just gave me the word dreamy, dreaming. Oh. Two songs now they've just given me. Selena, I don't know if you guys remember her. I'm, I'm sure you do. Uh, there's a song called Dreaming by her. Uh, maybe somebody listening loves that song. And then Dream Lover by uh what's her name that you know you know the girl i've lost mariah carey that's it um those are very old songs i know but i have a an 80s spirit here with me so i don't know if those are songs that you enjoy or somebody else enjoys it um or someone's going to sing that one of those songs to you yeah, um, uh, they're very romantic, lovely songs, tunes. So I don't know, maybe you just listen to that or you listen to it. Um, it seems specific. So if that doesn't resonate for you, that's fine, you guys. So um, I'm going to leave your reading there. That was lots of fun. Um, and I do hope that uh, all these energies play out for you in your personal life. And like I said, you know, at the end of the day, after you click off the reading, Always keep in mind, you have free will. Use your discernment. I'm not telling you what to do. It's just the energies I'm picking up. And if this plays out for you and it turns out to be um, a dream or something that you wish or were, were hoping for, then I just want to send you all of my love and light and happiness towards you um, that that it goes that way for you. Okay, you guys. So yeah, don't forget, come here on Sunday, the 26th. Um, join my channel. It's $9.99 a month. And you can pop in on Sundays for the readings. You can ask as many questions as you want. You don't have to super chat because you're already uh, subscribed to the channel. Um, or you can just pop in and, you know, ask a question. If you super chat, you'll get answered first. If you don't, I'll do my very best to um just get anybody who's asking any questions all right you guys so also keep in mind um i've disabled all of the comments due to the scammers a lot of you are getting scammed and once you give your money to anybody else but me i can't help you um, i'm not taking new personal readings at this time so if you are a former 
um, person, client who has reached out to me before for personal readings, you may continue to do so. Um, yeah, so those are the messages. Thanks, everybody, for being in the chat, and I will see you guys all back here very soon. Take care. Bye.